Howdy folks and welcome back to another episode of Ugly Dog Lures. Today we're going to learn three different splattering techniques to splatter paint on your baits. Why don't we just jump in there feet first. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for subscribing. Be sure you hit that notification bell and hit that thumbs up button. Help me with them algorithms. So our first technique that we're going to use, so y'all have seen me use many times. You see that folks, I got lightning fast reflexes. If that'd have been a beer feeling off the table, I'd have been faster. But uh we're gonna use the toothbrush met toothbrush method first. So I've already got this ready to go. Uh, just need to make some paint and get me a drink. And by the way, folks, we did have a funeral. I got me a new blow dryer. Had to bury the old one. It finally died on us. So the so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our paint out here. Get it on our little easel thing here. Maybe we're gonna get it on there. We're going to thin it out a little bit. Then we're going to use the splatter technique with the toothbrush. That'll be our first thing that we're going to do. I got to thin this out pretty good here. So if you get it too thick, it don't want to come off that toothbrush very easily. So, so we just want to thin it up a little bit. Let's give her another drop. Oh, there we go. I want to get some paper towels down here, a couple of them, and lay them down here. And I'm going to move these lures off to the side so I don't splatter them with the paintbrush or the toothbrush. So I just want to dip the tip of that toothbrush in there and then I'm going to do that and uh, get some excess off of it and I'm just going to take and pull the end of that toothbrush back and let it go and just let it splatter down the side of that bait just like that right there. So let's jump in here and get the other side get a little splatter going on that. So that's the first technique is the toothbrush method. And it works really well. It's my favorite one to use. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set this off to the side. I'm going to wipe my thumb off. And uh, we're going to move on to a paintbrush method. So we've got that cleaned off. So the next method we're going to go with is the paintbrush method. And you just need like a pair of needle nose pliers. Get you a bait over here. I need another stand over there. So. so this method is similar but different. Move that right over there. Bobby, protect that lure. So we're going to take our brush. And we're going to dip our brush in kind of the same thing. We're going to pull it out on there, then we're just going to take our brush and just smack it against. Just like that right there. And you get as, as much as you want on there, as little as you want on there. So. Well, it's cleaner than putting it on your finger. Hey, you leave <laughs> me alone. So that's, that's your call as to how much you want to put on there. That's the second method. His tail is barren. He needs more on his bottom side. No, he does not. He's perfect. Just the way he is. He's missing the whole patch. Poor guy. Oh, he's done. And just clean your little brush out so that you can use it again next time. And those are some weird brushes. Tell them where you got those brushes from. These brushes came from Dollar Tree. 
you get them like three for a dollar. You see how it's splattered all over my table now. That's all right. I don't know who will clean it up. Now on to the last method, which is uh, the one that I like the least. But it is a way to do it. Crank your air pressure up on your gun. Pour your little bit up in there in your gun. And just trip your trigger real fast. And it is my least favorite method. You see the very little fine spots to do so so it's my least favorite method to do and if you want to get bigger spots you turn your pressure down a little bit and just let it feel the well of that gun Then you squirt it at your wife. You better be nice. I don't want to wear that paint today. So, and that is my least favorite method to do right there. These are my two favorite methods. And most of the time you'll never see me use anyone but this method. So folks, that's just three left different ways that you can uh, to do that. So make your own mind up. I'm partial to the toothbrush, but that's up to y'all to make your own mind up and do it the way you want to do it. So folks, that's three different methods on how you can uh, splatter baits. Uh, I don't like the airbrush style at all. It's my least favorite. It don't do near the splatter job that the other two do. Uh, this is by far my favorite method. And this is the second one, and the airbrush is the last. I don't like to do it with my airbrush. But, uh, you know, that's your call if you want to do it with your airbrush. Or if you're thinking of getting an airbrush. Just remember to like, subscribe, and share to my channel. Hit that notification bell, and hit that thumbs up. And we'll catch you later.